In this video, we're going to show you everything you need to know about the similarities and differences between a standalone microphone preamp and an audio interface. It's not quite as simple as one does one thing and one does another. There is a lot of kind of cross pollination between the features of each device. We're going to walk through all that in this video so you can be a bit more confident about which gear you need in your home studio. First of all, if you are looking for pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, we do have links down in the description below where you can find everything that you see in this video from a variety of online retailers to make sure that you are getting the best price possible. Okay, so let's start at the very beginning on how a microphone works before we get into the differences of a microphone preamp and an audio interface. A microphone captures acoustic energy using a diaphragm. Basically, there's a plate at the front of the microphone that vibrates when acoustic energy, when sound waves hit it. There's a bunch of different mechanisms depending on the style of microphone that you have, but basically they all do the same thing. They capture that tiny amount of acoustic energy and it generates a tiny, tiny electrical analog signal that represents the sound that was moving through the air. As you can imagine, if we're capturing sound waves from a voice or something like that and converting that to electricity, that is gonna be a very, very weak signal. So before we do anything with that signal, we need to boost that signal before we can EQ, compress, put an expander, put a gate, before we can do anything with it, we need to make that tiny signal bigger so we can actually work with it. So that's where the job of a preamplifier comes in. What does a preamplifier do? It does exactly what I just explained. It takes that tiny, tiny microphone level signal and it boosts it to a line level signal. A line level signal is something that you can record, you can use in live sound, you can process, EQ, compress, put a gate on it, whatever you wanna do. You gotta get it to line level first. So that is the job of a preamp. Here in front of me, I have a Golden Age Pre-73. It's a really, really cool preamp. I think it's a good value, affordable, all that type of stuff. But this is generally what you're looking at in terms of size and shape if you're getting a standalone microphone preamp. Some are bigger, some are smaller, but this is kind of what you're doing. On the back of this microphone preamp, there's an XLR microphone level input. On the front of the device, there's a quarter inch instrument or line level input, depending on what you're doing with it. A microphone preamp like this will kind of come with all types of features. So it'll give you 48 volts in case you're using a condenser microphone like I am right now. It'll wake that microphone up so you can use it. You can change it to be line level or instrument level. You can use it as DI mode, low Z. Then here's the gain. The gain controls the preamp. So as you turn this up on this microphone preamp right now, it can amplify somewhere between 20 and 80 dB. You turn this all the way up to wherever you need it, and then you can high pass, which basically rolls off the lower frequencies. You can add some upper air frequencies if you want. So there's a little bit of processing here. There's an output pad, and then you get an output knob as well to help you fine tune. This all allows you to do a bunch of different things. The overall gain drives the preamp, and on a preamp like this, the more you crank it up, generally you get more warmth, more tone, that stuff that audio engineers really like. So you can drive it like crazy, and then you can set the output where you need it before it goes to your computer or your other signal chain. Okay, so that's the basics of how a microphone preamp works. Now let's take a look at some audio interfaces and talk about what they do. So if you take a look at these three popular audio interfaces that I have in front of me from Focusrite, UA, and SSL, they all kind of work the same way. There's an XLR input on the front or the back of them. There's a quarter inch input on the front or the back of them. You can decide if it's line level or instrument level if you're using the quarter inch input. You can turn on 48 volts if you need to activate a condenser microphone. They have different modes on them, like the Focusrite has the air mode that'll boost upper frequencies and or distort, add a little bit of analog distortion. The SSL has 4K mode. The UA device here has built-in compressor. This is sounding really similar to what a microphone preamp does. So what's the actual difference between a microphone preamp and an audio interface? The main difference between a microphone preamp and an audio interface is that an audio interface will interface with your computer. It will act as the in and out, the brains taking your audio signal to and from your computer. So as we discussed before, that microphone level signal is an analog signal. So each one of these audio interfaces will have some type of an analog to digital converter. Then it'll send that microphone preamp sound to your computer. 
and then your computer will send back a signal once it's processed and it will convert it to a headphone jack for you or there's quarter inch outputs on the back of these devices where you can connect to studio monitors. So not only do these three devices act as your microphone preamp, but they also interface with the computer and they act as your sound card for your computer. So why would you ever use a microphone preamp then if the audio interface does all that? And my answer to this and the easiest way to illustrate it is just look at the size. This microphone preamp here is huge. There's a ton of components in here to give that warmth, that tone, that clarity, that brightness, all the things you love about a great sounding microphone preamp. If you take a look at the small device here, like the Scarlett 2i2, it does all that in a very small factor. It's a solid state converter in there. It's different than more of an analog signal booster. Plus they had to jam all these other things in there. So you'd be lying to yourself if you didn't think that these companies were making sacrifices to get all of this, plus a whole bunch of other stuff into a small package to talk to your computer and back. So no, you don't need a microphone preamp. An audio interface will get you started and be just fine. But if you are starting to level up your production or you're starting to hit a wall and trying to do things with your preamp that these tiny preamps just won't do for you, that's when you'd want to look at doing something like getting an external microphone preamp and then connecting that to your audio interface. Let your main microphone preamp do all the heavy lifting and then you can work down through your signal chain and go from there to build up your audio setup. There are a whole bunch of other reasons you might want to preamp as well. This video is just basically talking on the differences of each one of these. So both devices here will boost that microphone signal, but only an audio interface can talk to and from your computer once that audio signal is boosted. I hope this video has been helpful. If you are looking for links or pricing for anything that you see in this video, we do have some links down in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.